This is Richard Allen at the University of Iowa. This video demonstrates probing and stenting and also fluorescein irrigation in a patient with a unilateral congenital nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. A punctal dilator is placed vertically and then horizontally. The same is done on the upper lid. A number one Bowman probe is then introduced through the canaliculus where a hard stop is appreciated. The same is done on the upper lid. Fluorescein is then introduced and injected through the lower system. As you can see, this reflexes through the upper punctum, indicating a nasolacrimal duct obstruction. The Bowman probe is then placed through the upper system and down the nasolacrimal duct. The patient's nose has been previously packed with afrin-soaked neurosurgical cottonoids. The nasal packing is removed. A number five Bowman probe is then slid along the lateral nasal wall in the area of the inferior meatus and moved medially where metal-on-metal -metal contact is made with the other Bowman probe. The Crawford stent is then placed through the upper system and down the nasolacmal duct. This is then retrieved from the nose with the Crawford hook. The same procedure is performed through the lower system. Again, the Crawford hook is placed along the lateral nasal wall, rotated medially to engage the Crawford stent, and the stent is removed from the nose. On the left side, the patient was less symptomatic. The puncta are dilated with the dilator. The Bowman probe demonstrates no canalicular obstruction by palpating a hard stop. Fluorescein injection through the upper canaliculus shows no reflex through the lower punctum, indicating the nasal acmal duct is patent. This is confirmed with fluorescein on the nasal packing. The stents are then tied and allowed to retract into the nose.